Today I'm heading over to mainland Europe in my van. I'm pretty excited about it. It's the first time that I have done this and taken the van over into Europe. I'm going to take the tunnel. You can either take the ferry or the tunnel. We're doing the tunnel. I live a long way from the tunnel. It's like over six hours from where I live in like the northeast. No, I don't live in the northeast. The northwest of England down to Folkestone where the tunnel is and so I'm doing it over a couple of days. I'm going to be gone for probably like a week and a half or so so before I go I'm going to pop in and see Stephen before I leave. Right I am off. This is the journey. Six hours ten minutes if I was going straight down to Folkestone. But like I say I am not doing that. I'm just, I've just put that in my map and then I'm just going to drive until I get bored. I'd like to get more than halfway. We shall see. Let's go. Oh, I was a drive. I've been driving for like three hours or so and I just gave up. I'm about halfway. Uh, I decided to come. I've come to a park up I've been before. It's in Brackley near the um, Mercedes F1 factory. I think I parked here when, I can't remember why we were here, but we were over at Silverstone for something. Not the Grand Prix, but I can't remember. Oh no, it would have been when Stephen was doing his um, single car racing thing. Anyway, I parked up here. I figured it was a good, good sort of halfway spot. It's just a little path like this. There is like a little walk you can do and i think there's a pond or something down there maybe i'll go and have a look later maybe i won't i don't know but that's me i'm gonna hop in the back now and relax actually i'm not gonna relax i'm gonna try and edit a video my mac has completely conked out on me i don't know what's going on i spent an hour yesterday trying to fix it and i sort of got it fixed and then it broke again this morning i spent another hour this morning trying to get it fixed so i'm gonna hop in the back and um and look into that i reckon the problem is it's just not charging like the light's not coming on and it won't, it's, I mean, it's 10 years old, but it won't work, like it doesn't charge. You have to always have it plugged in. But now this isn't working. Oh, I can't figure out my map, ma'am. It's a joke. It's just frozen. I finally, oh no. Oh, I did get, I got it, Tavo. Oh, anyway, oh, so annoying. It's getting a bit chilly. I'm gonna put the window coverings up and everything. It's only six o'clock. Um, but I'm gonna eat some dinner, gonna have a little bagel I think. Oh, I'm having fun with the person I'm travelling over to France with. They've cocked up there, sort of like travelling down and stuff, it's been hysterical. Um, I don't know, they've travelled further down, uh, I don't know, they've, they've travelled down south a little bit. They thought we were going down south but they've gone somewhere different and it's just they're crazy. Even though it's only six o'clock, I think I'm just wanna Honestly, make my dinner, put the window covers on, make my dinner and then just like get into bed really and just like watch things because um, that Mac is just doing my head in. And tomorrow, I'm not quite sure what the plan is tomorrow of when I'm leaving here and what we're doing. It all depends on who I'm travelling with and what they end up doing. They, oh, they've just cocked things up. Uh, <laughs> it's hysterical. Move my bum. Dinner time. <laughs> A bagel, it's not much. I've got to be really careful with my um with my power because I have an induction hob. <clears throat> like I'm glad I've got an induction hob <clears throat> rather than gas, but it really does suck the power, so cold dinner tonight. <laughs> bagel, hummus and spinach. <laughs> Good morning. Oh, I had a voice night's sleep. I don't know why I kept waking up. Well, I do know why, because it was so cold. Um, I think it dropped to zero in the night. We <laughs> were freezing. I should turn the diesel heater on at like two o'clock to uh, to get warm. Oh, it's cold now. I was contemplating just lying in bed and sticking the diesel heater on and just lying there, but I'm getting up, going to the gym, going for a shower and things. Um, and then a little bit later, head a bit more. Well, head down to Folkestone, I think, probably. Yeah, look at this. Oh, ice. Oh, it 
it might be cold but it's an absolutely glorious morning i love mornings like this with clear blue skies oh yeah it's beautiful well this is going well i've just tried to get into the gym apparently i don't have access to pure gym bicester or whatever it's called i don't know why but i don't so i'm going to tesco which is just across the road to go to the toilet and then i'm going to figure out where <laughs> the next closest pure gym is i wonder why i don't have access to that gym Hi, i've changed my plans now with the whole gym thing i think what i'm gonna do i'm just in tesco car park i'm gonna eat something and i've just been looking at like what gyms i can access um and i was gonna go to the one in oxford but and then i figured no what might be a better thing to do is sort of drive like set off down to folkestone and like drive halfway and then i think sort of like woking is kind of halfway ish um so i'll go to the gym there like break up the journey a little bit i've got just uh, like random bits of um well of food in my fridge now that i want to <laughs> get rid of so i'm just gonna i've got some green beans green beans i'm gonna throw all these in i've got my bolognese that i need to eat up oh this m25 is an absolute killer it is chocker finally arrived in Folkestone after a killer of a drive and we just parked up in uh, a pub car park about 15 minutes drive away from the tunnel entrance so that worked really well. I didn't film anything because I was too busy. Let's crack on to tomorrow morning when we are going to get the tunnel over. We are off to the tunnel. It is five to four. We parked up in um, a pub car park last night. The Duke's Head, good little park up actually. <clears throat> like go in and have a beer or something if you're there, I guess, rather than just using the car park. But yeah, parked up there last night, had a nice little evening. Or something, I don't know. I don't know what we're doing here. This sort of thing, I assume. I'm trying to desperately find my email with my booking confirmation. Got me tickets. I have no idea where I am going. Oh my goodness, we are just about to arrive in Sands. Oh, I just feel a bit sick this um this tunnel. We've had a nightmare morning <laughs> of getting on. Um the first time travel wheel has got a trailer and it was they didn't add it to their booking and so it, we've been it, it was such a palaver. We thought that we wouldn't be able to get on until um oh I just got an O2 thing saying welcome to France. We thought we'd have to wait till like, we were getting the 546 train. We thought we are going to have to wait till 9 until we could speak to customer services at the plane. Oh my god, it was just an absolute nightmare. But we got on. It's now, well, French time, 7.51. Like, we, I think we got the train that we were supposed to in the end. But it was like late, like half an hour late leaving. Oh my goodness, what a morning it's been. <laughs> what a morning. First thing I'm going to do is stop off. I'm so hungry, get like a little croissant or something. We've got like a two and a half hour drive to where we're going. Oh god. Welcome to France, look at that beautiful sky. Sunrise, got here just in time for sunrise. Slide right onto the slip road to A16. <laughs> 